dear students hope you are doing well let me continue the classes uh, today let me discuss molecular velocities of gaseous gas molecules gaseous molecules you have learned uh, uh, these concepts uh, fundamentally in uh, lower classes probably in higher secondary level as we know that uh, gas molecule uh, ideal gases ideal gases ideal gas ideal gas are tiny molecules they are tiny molecules we have lot of gas molecules they are tiny molecules they collide with each other and with the walls of the container also but their collisions are uh, perfectly elastic elastic collision elastic collisions okay but you never think that uh, all molecules in a container have uh, same velocity all molecules all molecules uh, in the container all molecules in the container in the container have no have no uh, same velocity have no uh same velocity okay have no same uh, velocity please understand they have no same velocity okay their velocities are different suppose let me take like this molecules 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 okay and velocity velocity molecule center velocity suppose uh, n1 number of molecules have velocity c1 n2 number has c2 n3 has c3 velocity of course n n has c n velocity and i will tell you n3 is greater than n1 comma n2 comma n n please understand n3 is uh, this is very important n3 the number of n3 is greater than uh, n1 n2 or n3 this is 100 this is 200 uh, this is 10000 or 1000 all other numbers are less than 1000 okay now we have three types of velocities molecular velocities are three types molecular velocities are three types one is rms speed root mean square velocity second average average velocity average velocity third is most third is most probable velocity probable uh, velocity velocity fine this rms is called uh, we can represent v rms average velocity v average this is v most probable average at the middle average at the middle okay the equation is this is represented by 3rt by m 3rt by m this is m square root this is 8 rt by pi m okay this is 2 rt by m this is the equation connecting them 2 rt by m okay 3 rt 8 rt by pi m and 2 rt by m now what is rms velocity what is uh, what is uh, let us take first uh, what is v average v average average velocity i think that's better to explain first what is average velocity average velocity is what is n1 number of molecule having c1 velocity therefore average velocity is n1 c1 plus n2 
2 c2 what is n2 number of molecule having c2 velocity plus n3 c3 plus n n c n all divided by n capital letter n what is capital letter n n, n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n n this is capital letter n okay this is called the average velocity how do you define average velocity it is the it is the average velocity is the it is the mean mean we are taking the mean mean of the velocities of the velocities of velocities of it is the mean of the velocities of all molecules all molecules okay now what is v armus v armus which is equal to root mean square square root 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 therefore take a root root mean mean there will be capital letter n mean because you are dividing by total number that is mean mean square square of velocities square therefore c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square plus cn square root mean squares it is the it is the square root of square root of mean of mean of square of square of velocities velocities square root of mean of squares of velocities now what is most probable velocity i just go back to our earlier discussion this is most probable velocity this is most probable velocity because it is a velocity possessed by most of the molecules most numbers of the molecule because n3 is greater than any other numbers it is the velocity velocity possessed by possessed by most numbers of molecules most numbers of numbers of molecules numbers of molecules okay now suppose a question uh, suppose now uh, ratio of ratio of v rms v average average middle then v most probable most probably. What is our equation? 3RT by M square root of 8RT by pi M square root of 2RT by M. That's the square root of 3 square root of 8 by pi square root of 2 by M. Okay. This is 1.732. This is 1.595. This is 1.414. When you divide by the smallest number, 1.1. When you divide by smallest number, you will get 1, uh, 1, 1 1.2, 1.1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.224. 1.1, 1.12. This is their ratio. Okay, now look at this equation. The equation tells you this velocity directly proportional to temperature only. Whatever the velocity, whether it is armus, average, or most probably any velocity, whatever the velocity which depends upon uh, temperature only. Okay, you solve some question from uh, your material and make the note. Thank you for watching.